And we're back. Welcome back. Thank you for standing by a moment, my friends. So yeah, we're going to start this over again. I'm going to make the same mistake. I'm keeping our live count low. We'll see. We'll see if I we'll see if it bites me again. Hey, old school McFly, welcome in. Thank you for joining us. Sir Punk's a lot. Thank you for the gift sub, Punk. Very much appreciate the generosity. Thank you for that. Tuesday, take a key for coming in. Just up early, so you're still streaming at this ungodly hour. I uh I normally don't stream Saturday nights, but my schedule's a little different. Jelly's got some things she's doing tomorrow, so I need to uh I need to be here and be and be awake with the with the puppy at the right times. So I was like, well, I've got to stay up all night then. So I don't have to, but I'm gonna be up all night. So I might as well uh, might as well do a do a, a random Saturday stream. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, but it's Monday. <laughs> I don't know where you've traveled to that it's Monday for you, punk. That is, uh... Now I'm confused. Monday's a lie. There's only Tuesday. Uh, there's a reason Taco Tuesdays are a thing. Tacos should have more than just one day a week. They are delicious. Taco every day. Here we go. Crossbow. Not a super great start. There's a one up in this game. In the, in the instruction manual, when it lists the items that you can collect, there is an item, there is a one-up listed in the manual. But apparently for the longest time, people thought it was a misprint, or there was an error in the game, because the one-up is impossible to come, up, come across unless you're looking for it. Um... The enemies, sometimes the, the randomly spawning enemies, sometimes they spawn... Oh, yuck. Sometimes I thought he'd pass under me uh, all the way, um, and he didn't. They uh, Sometimes they spawn carrying baskets, and those baskets can have point statues or weapons in them. Uh, every third enemy spawns carrying a basket. And... I think in order to in order to spawn the one up, I think you have to open 39 baskets. On normal difficulty. I think it's even more. If you turn the difficulty up, I think you have to open even more baskets for the one up. But on normal difficulty, I think it's 39 baskets. But so that's like 120 enemies that you have to that you have to take care of. And this is a game with a timer, so it takes it takes so long for 120 enemies to spawn that you'll get the one up, 
but you'll get it just a few seconds before the clock runs out and you're dead. <laughs> so it's absolutely meaningless. It's like you can only get it you can only get it if you go looking for it intentionally, basically. The ch the chances of accidentally finding the one up are outrageously low. <laughs> That's brutal, yeah. Alright, leave that chest. That chest is almost always a bear trap. Uh, if you're not wearing armor, it's almost always an armor. But if you have if you have armor on of any kind, it's almost always a bear trap. So I don't want to go back there and get stuck by it. Where is the treasure chest here? Oh my goodness. Oh, that one's a bear trap too. Green armor. Thank goodness. I'm going to take a hit. Stop throwing eggs. Oh my goodness, this is going so slow. <laughs> Good luck on the puppy, gotta get to bed, catch you on the flip side. Thank you, Waz. Thank you for the uh, pistachios, Itty. I'll see if I can find uh, time to enjoy some of those. Have a, uh, have a great rest of your night, Waz. Hopefully we'll see you again real soon. My goodness, I thought I was gonna run out the clock. I don't know why that battle took so long. Pistachios. I'll go ahead and open the container though, so. Yeah, I don't want that. Because of the torch. Yeah, but the torch is, uh, the torch is, is supposed to be strong. I just, I guess because I wasn't getting him to reach his head into any, like, ground flames. They're all All the torches were bouncing off of him. I've had not one, but two treasure chests open up tonight, completely empty. 
That, that almost never happens, and it's happened twice tonight. Here's a chance for one pistachio. I'll have two more later. There's so many ghosts on this ship. Hey, Angelus, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Always a pleasure to have you here, my friend. Tell us about your uh, stream. What were you playing tonight, and how did it go? As always, we'd love to hear. Playing episode three of Sam and Max Save the World. Those are like, are those, those are like point and click adventure games? Maybe do an episode four next Sunday, right on. I've never given, uh, I've never given any of those a try. Hopefully you're finding it to be a very enjoyable time. I thought I was. Oh, yuck. A bear trap. Next door probably be a wizard. I'd like to type for you a shout out, Angelus. I just need you to wait a moment before I can do before I can do it. I mean I know you uh, I know you're I'm sure you. I'm sure you understand, but I just wanted to say because I didn't. I want you to know I'm not forgetting about you. I'm just trying not to. Uh, I'm trying not to pause if I if I don't absolutely have to. And there should be some downtime coming up soon. Another pistachio. All right. Let's go. Now I can sit here and hang out a moment. Have another couple pistachios. I wouldn't have done the re redeem. Uh, saw G and G and figured it was a chill victory lap. No worries. It will be. It will be a. It will be a chill playthrough as soon as I die. <laughs> Arthur destroys endangered coral reef. <laughs> Fun and not to mention humorous, Angela says. Wanted to give those a try sometime. Recently played Grim Fandango, Punk says. There was a game someone told me about, Punk, that I thought of you. I 
can't think of what it's called. I wonder if I wrote it down somewhere. They said it was a they said it was a dating sim where all of your options were birds. <laughs> that made me think of you. You played it. I should have known. At least I was right. I hope you enjoyed it. That's the one, yeah. Hatoful boyfriend. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for the shout out. No problem, Angelus. Thank you as always for the raid. Definitely appreciate you, my friend. It was a hoot. Oh, well done. Oh, I, I should, I, uh, you mentioned this being a victory lap, Itty. Um, this is my third attempt tonight. <laughs> I, uh, I, t I have my lives turned down real low. And so my first, my first attempt, I, I game overed on, on loop one. <laughs> my second attempt, I reset because I, I died real early on. And, uh. And so I thought, well, I, I, I look, give me a fresh start. My third attempt, I made it all the way up to the end of loop two, but I game over it again. So my 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 hubris is definitely, uh, yeah, one life per credit is how I'm how I'm running it. I wanted there to be some drama. I just, uh, you know, I kind of hoped it wouldn't bite me, but it really has. <laughs> I've I've played like an absolute clown tonight. I have a little, I have little runs. I have little runs where I do well for a for a big stretch of time, but I somehow keep managing to get myself into snafus that I can't get out of. <laughs> My husband said, "Pretty coo." Also very well done. I think I've beaten it with that setting, but not sure, it he says. I mean, when you have it on professional, like a victory isn't isn't guaranteed. If you make it to well, if you get stuck in the right part or if you make it to the end you don't have enough, uh, there aren't enough money bags to build your continues back up, so you will game over, even with stock lives on professional mode eventually. But, I, I just figure, if I'm gonna get stuck in game over, I'd rather it come a little bit more quickly, I don't know. You do get, but you get, um, you get so many chances, though, still. Even, uh, even on professional with the stock lives. I don't I don't really think game over is super likely. So it's nice to have them turned down to feel the pressure. Uh, I find it almost difficult to game over stock lives. Getting extra continues happens so often. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Until you get up, until you get up to the very end. On normal mode, on normal mode, even if you're stuck at the end, your continues pretty much are pretty much are infinite. I don't, 
I don't know if they can run out. Well, with stock lives, they probably can, but yeah, it'd be real slow. Because there's just so many money bags. I guess if you don't know to collect them, though, and you avoid them, you could wind up in a pickle. Uh, don't know the difficulty differences. Only played professional. Well done. Um, yeah, the uh, but the 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 amount of money bags, the amount of money bags that are required for extra credits increases as the difficulty increases. It's like 16 money bags per credit on normal, and I think it's twice that on professional. Yeah, the the RNG is different. The uh, you know the, the the random enemies spawn more quickly and tend to move more 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 quickly. The bosses have more health. That's the that's what I find to be the biggest difference. I don't really feel much of a difference in the, in the random enemies. I know they are different, but it doesn't feel very different. But the bosses have a lot more health as you turn the difficulty up. That's the, that's the hugest difference. That blue guy was getting really close to me. aim that badly. That's more like it. Some of the background obstacles move faster, too. Like, the skulls that come out of the towers um, on stage one drop a little faster. The axes on stage two swing a little faster. But again, none of it's... None of them are huge differences. It's all... It's all very... Very small changes. Oh no! A cobbler level, yeah. As long as you don't look down at the bottom where it's kind of gross and organ like. This is the, uh, the, this is the level that makes me hungry. Oh yeah, yeah. I am a uh, I am 100% tripe cobbler. <laughs> I am 100% gonna spam dragons and abuse the iframes. That's uh That's what you got to do. This to me always looks like thick melted cheese on top of meatballs. It looks like uh Looks like uh, the top of a pizza. With the toppings under the cheese. I, I feel like that's what that's made of. I, I can't blame the, the Hydra for wanting to hang out there. I bet it's delicious. 
far too gray, green, brown to look like cheese to me. And he says, well, I just assume that's because of the poor lighting. <laughs> I, I, assume, I, I assume that's just because it's a, not a well-lit room. I had spell iframes. Very useful strat I didn't know about. Oh yeah, that's uh that's how I make my way through a lot of stuff. Whenever uh whenever I have the uh yeah, whenever I've got the gold armor, I'm always thinking where can I where can I use the iframes? Very useful in stage two B and four B. I got cheated by these ice snakes earlier. I got... I was ducking. I was ducking below an ice snake, and, like, it was way above me, and I was ducking for, like, two seconds. And then out of nowhere, it, it suddenly counted as a hit. It'd be one thing, like, if I was ducking and it passed way over my head and still counted as a hit, even though it looked like it didn't touch me. But to allow me to duck under it for such a length of time, and then suddenly just count as a hit, that, that's what sickened me about it. Stage 2 with the auto-scroller, the iframes can cheese the spiky coral reef, yeah. Time for me to bounce, have a good one all. Good night, uh, Master Tuesday. Thank you for uh, being here tonight. I appreciate you finding the stream on a, on an off night and spending so much time with us. Hopefully I'll see you uh, tomorrow or Monday. Not exactly sure if I'm streaming tomorrow night yet. I probably, uh, I, I'm going to give it a try. I probably will, but I don't want to promise it. My plan was to do an any percent playthrough of the game, and then and then to follow that up with a hundred percent playthrough of the game. <laughs> but I wasn't able. I haven't been able to complete an any percent run tonight. I'm having. I'm having such a rough night with it. I had to. I had to bump the one hundred percent off of my plans. Later Tuesday, see you on Tuesday. Waz is still here. I thought you'd uh, thought you'd taken off already. What am I doing? What's with that backwards jump?
need to get back to the GBA version of this too. <laughs> I'm kind of. I might have one more pistachio. I I know I kind of I did kind of meet my quota I think before, but let's have another one anyway because I left the jar open. That was excellent timing for that fairy. I'd like to play the GBA port more in a, in a way, but I'm also, I'm kind of soured on GBA ports of SNES games. Echo and Contra have made me now very, very wary of uh, I mean, I know I've played it before, and it didn't seem that bad, but I'm kind of scared now of the... I'm actually kind of scared of the bonus levels. Oh, why am I missing this jump? <laughs> it couldn't help the Double Tuesday content comment. <laughs> Fair enough. Can't, can't blame you for that. Hey, I missed, but then I didn't. That worked out well. This room right here... This room right here is the second hardest and probably most important part of the game for me. And that would be both passes through it. I mean, the second is more important than the first uh, pass. But both of them are pretty important. Uh, don't come and get me, don't come and get me, don't come and get me. Let's go. I missed the key. <sighs> I want to play the other levels more because they're the Genesis G and G levels, but with the uh, Super Ghouls and Ghost mechanics. Yeah, I do want to. I do want to play through them. I do want to try it. I'm just. I'm just so wary now. I'm, I'm, I'm so tired of screen crunch. Who is the goddess? I, uh... I don't know that there... I don't know that there is such a figure. The bracelet is called the goddess bracelet. Maybe the princess is the goddess. I don't know, uh... I don't know that... I don't know that a goddess ever appears in the, uh, series.
that's Prin Prin Quantum says. Yeah, yeah, this game, this game gives you her, uh, this game, yes, gives you her, uh, dimensions when you beat the game. And the name itself, Prin Prin translates to Princess Jiggle Jiggle, so I mean... St stay, stay classy, Capcom. <laughs> Brain Brain costume for Chun Li in Street Fighter 6. <laughs> I'm still waiting on I'm still waiting on Arthur for Smash Bros. Oh, that was loop one deathless, by the way. So that's good. I feel like I redeemed myself at least a little bit there. <laughs> after all the after all the horror of the start. Ooh, uh... It's so funny that this gnarly metal game has a has a silly uh, joke like that. <laughs> uh. Arthur's relegated to assist trophy. He got Waluigi'd. <laughs> All the best characters do, right? That's that's why it's known as being Waluigi'd. <laughs> That money bag up there on the left, that one's a fun money bag to get. When you're doing when you're doing hundred percent, like jumping out of your way to get that one way up there, that's yeah, that's fun. And that one up there can be almost impossible to get if you spawn a uh, if that treasure chest decides to spawn a bear trap. I don't know if I've ever seen that one do it, but I guess I'd rather be an assist trophy than a spirit, though, right? It's a lot better. It's a lot better to show up in Smash Bros. as a as a, as an assist trophy than just to be relegated to a spirit.
I thought that go that ghost really could have ruined my night. <laughs> he could have ruined my night with a K. <laughs> uh. That's the stream. <laughs> I'll see y'all next time, friends. Goodbye. <laughs> Pretty, pretty bold of me to assume anyone's going to come back, right? Uh, uh, don't pick that up. Oh, thank goodness. I always wanted Professor Layton in Smash. What are Professor Layton's combat abilities? Me costumes are kind of the worst. Here you can play as a bad character cosplaying. <laughs> he can make guns out of slot machines and sword fights. Alright, I guess he's got some moves. There should be a version of Super Smash Brothers where the characters are not all made uniform, but they appear exactly as they appear in their uh, the first game in their fran the the first solo title in their franchise, and they have only those abilities. <laughs> it would be horrifically unbalanced and wonderful, I think. Smash Origins. Oh, perfect. We've even got the title. Uh, Miyamoto, I do accept checks. <laughs> now Mario can run, jump. Well... He could pick up the he could pick up the hammer too for a little while. I know Donkey Kong is named after Donkey Kong, but I would consider it a Mario game. And the first.
I don't know what the first I don't know what the first Game and Watch game was, but Mr. Game and Watch would probably be in rough shape too. <laughs> He might be he might be the character to fare worse. <laughs> worst. I guess we'd have to say the game where the character first appeared as a playable character is what we'd have to what we'd have to say though. So some characters, like some characters would be completely removed, right? Or like, or, or Zelda would have to be modeled after Wand of Gamelon. <laughs> Are there, are there, that's an interesting question. What Smash Brothers characters have never been playable? Have, have any of them? I know a lot of them, it took a long time. Because, like, has Zelda ever been playable in a, in a, in a mainline official Zelda game? Captain Falcon. <laughs> It'd be rough to be Captain Falcon. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what of it, uh, what of anything he could do. <laughs> Accelerate and steer. <sighs> no! Oh, I got robbed. I was trying to hit that guy. I took I took so many of them out. I was trying to get him like I got the rest. Uh, good night, Angelus. Thank you again for the raid. Thank you for the good luck wishes. Good luck with your uh, stream tomorrow. Ah, uh, I look forward to seeing you again. That was scary. I don't, I don't ever have the stones coming in from the left like that, and now it happened twice in a row. <laughs> that, that never happens, and it happened twice in a row. Uh, I think Zelda might have been playable for some puzzles in Phantom Hourglass. All right. Yeah, you might be right about that. I haven't played that one. But I do know that, like, she is, like, your Navi in that game. Or Phantom Hourglass or Spirit Tracks? I was thinking of Spirit Tracks, so I'm probably not thinking of the right thing. A per character from a first-person game would be busied? What is... What is... Busted. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. I couldn't... My, my, my autocorrect was turned off in my brain. See that? 
Good thing I had that shield, huh? Spirit track. Okay, you were thinking of spirit tracks. I just noticed that both the DS games are, are titled Spirit and Phantom. There's a, there's actually a little theme there. I've, I don't think I've ever thought of that before. Oh, I wanted the bracelet. I did. Uh, no, I don't. I. I, did, I mean, I didn't want the bracelet. I wanted the shield. Daisy doesn't have a game as a standalone character, right? Right. Um, and no idea what Peach's abilities are in Super Princess Peach. Me either. I don't. I don't really know anything about that one. That game seems to be pretty rare and expensive. Um, oh, but Peach was playable before that in um, Mario RPG. And before that, probably in Mario Kart, so she's in a Captain Falcon situation. <laughs> was she? No, she's not in Mario Kart. She's not playable in Mario Kart. Uh, is she? Oh, yeah, she's in Super Mario Kart. Bowser's inside story. Yeah, Bowser's also Mario RPG, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I back I backpedaled a little bit on the standalone thing. <laughs> I just said their first playable appearance. But yeah, standalone, yeah, you're you'd be right you'd be right on those titles. For sure. And would probably make a better choice. I thought for a moment that that flower was going to survive that dragon blast. I was about to be really upset. Pits first is Kid Icarus. I, I don't know why that's funny, though, because I don't know the game. Simon, uh, Simon, like, some characters, you know, like Simon Belmont and Mega Man, though, like, they would both, uh, they'd both be doing really well for themselves. NES Classic, Jump and Shoot. Except I think, like, if you pick Simon Belmont, you would have to pick one of his sub-weapons. Right, you don't get access to all of them. I 
I think with Mega Man, he should have all the powers from Mega Man 1. But uh, in order to switch between them, he has to, you have to pause in place. And the game doesn't pause for the rest of the players. <laughs> so you really got to be selective <laughs> about when you want to switch and be quick. You like this game so much, uh, you named your dog after it. Did I, did I punk? Or did I name him after the pun? Arfur. Both, you got me. You got me. It would be great, Eddie says. It's fun. It's fun to dream and to dream big. Oh wow, we got a new. Uh, we got a new follow. Like uh, eight minutes ago. I'm sorry I didn't call you out, my friend. Um, I will preserve your anonymity if you would prefer, but uh, I do want to tell you thank you. I really appreciate that. Sorry, I don't, I don't watch the activity feed as closely as I should most of the time. Scary game. What a what a scary game this is. Finally. It took a while to get that shield, it felt like. surprised he didn't aim any of those shots for me. They're all horizontal. That, I don't know if that one fairy up there is despawned. I'm real scared. They are frequently quite the menace. Thank you. 
I wish there was a bracelet after the ghost room. <laughs> like, right before the boss. I don't like going through... I don't like going through this room with a bracelet. No! Oh, one of my inputs got eaten. I was trying to take that ghost out. I think I hit the... I think my weapon hadn't worn off. As uh, quickly as I thought it would, I think was my problem. So not really that my input got eaten, but that I uh, just played bad. That's usually the problem. the ultimate horror game. I'm so scared. <laughs> uh. Get away from my corner, man. What are you doing? You don't belong there. Was close. Risky play. Where's the ice beam? There we go. All the close calls in this fight. Every way you can, every way you can almost fail. For sure. It's a showcase. Victory. GG. That's the game, my friends. We did it. Another deathless clear. Unless this guy somehow humiliates me. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's just be careful. <laughs> this guy, this guy, I always, I always mock this guy relentlessly for being a victory lap and not a challenge. So, uh. If anyone, like, deserves to get a little revenge humiliation, it's this guy. <laughs> I'm always making fun of this guy. But, I mean, it's just the thing is, after, after that last fight with those two guys, this is nothing. And, like, yeah, when I show up and, and do it, like, first try, it probably doesn't look all that difficult, but I promise you, <laughs> it takes a lot of practice. <laughs> It took a lot of practice for me, anyway. I'm. Yeah, you might you might roll into town with a lot of skill, but uh, for me, my goodness, easiest boss of the game. Yeah, easiest boss in most games. All right, that's it, my friends. Victory. Stop the clock. Deathless clear. That's great. I did so bad. I did so bad the first half. Now that we got another deathless clear. Don't even worry about it. All is forgotten. Life is good. Oh, my heart is happy. Very well done. Thank you, Itty. That's, uh, that's the third time. That's the third time we've done that. It happens infrequently enough that I uh, 
that I can remember with clarity. <laughs> Thank you for the GGs. Thank you for the uh, celebratory emotes. Thank you, Quantum. Thank you, Itty. Oh, wow. What a night. What a night. My heart is uh my heart is still racing. I find it funny that Deathless gets you a quarter million points, but only three extra lives. Do you... But, uh, do, I mean, do you really get more points? You don't get more points doing a Deathless run, though, right? Because unless, unless you game over, right? Cause you don't you have points taken away when you die, so you get to... So you kind of get to regrind some of the same enemies. But the disparity, I mean, if you're just talking about the, yeah, the, the disparity between how many points earned and how many lives you get, it is pretty, like, it is a, it is pretty wide. I love an enemy roll call. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're, uh, they're my favorite kind of cutscene. I mean, a lot of times, that's your only way of really even knowing, like, what these enemies are supposed to be called. Which it's funny for me to even, like, pretend like I care about, since I always just call every enemy this guy. <laughs> every enemy, every enemy is just, is just this guy, or whatever their key adjective is. Oh, the big guy. Oh, the red guy. Oh, the bomb guy. <laughs> Look at all these men you have slain. Know their names and faces. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's a that, there's a there's a chilling concept for you. I think they did that. I might be spoiling. I'm, I might be spoiling something, or I might be wrong about it. I think that I've heard that there's a scene like that in one of the Metal Gear games, where there's a in in one of those games you get um, you get confronted by the ghosts of the enemies that you kill. I wonder if, if I'm remember if if it if if what I'm thinking of is true. I wonder if the enemy roll call was the was the inspiration. This is uh, going to be our stream for the night, my friends. We are uh, we are going to wind down here, and we'll. Uh, We'll head out on a raid. See who is who is live and what they're up to. Should be a game like Hitman with a row call just like this, but all the victims have their full names and family shown. <laughs> Same music. <laughs>
Thanks for the stream, Frowny, and GG once again. Hey, thank you, Quantum. Thank you very much. Thank you for the raid. Hopefully I'll, uh, like I said, hopefully I'll be able to make good on um, dropping in for one of your streams sometime. It's not likely to be soon, but I'm going to keep you on my follow list, and when the stars align, I, I'll be very happy to drop in and keep you company uh, some uh, afternoon or evening. Thank you for the GGs. I feel I feel good. I feel good. I'm ready to uh, ready to ready to head out on this victory, though. Um, gonna go ahead and pull up our uh, our raid target while the credits are rolling. Be awesome, but no pressure. I'm going to send this in the direction of uh, Abby Rebel. Abby's playing some arcade games tonight. Looks like maybe just kind of a, a bunch of random ones. Uh, they had a... Uh, looks like they were playing Tapper earlier, but I think that... Uh, I don't know what this one is. <laughs> but we'll uh, we'll head over and, uh, we'll head over and keep... And, uh, and give Abby some company. Um, really great stream. Lots of uh, lots of retro content. Lots of arcade content, um, and just other just re random retro stuff like commercials and and things like that. Um, not a family friendly stream. Uh, you might hear some mature uh, language or conversation topics. A heads up about that. Um, but if you come along, I think you'll have a really good time. Thank you for being here with me, my friends. Thank you for sticking with me, because the first, the start of the night was so rough. I couldn't, I could not have imagined the night turning out as uh, as as wonderful as it has now for us by the end. With such a, an amazing victory, I've had such great company. Thank you, my friends. Be well until I get to see you again. Hopefully tomorrow night, Monday night at the latest. I'll let you know in the Discord. Um, that's all we've got for tonight. It's time to head out. Let's go on an adventure. <laughs>